Hey everybody, this is Lisa. I am coming on with a project share for my Crafting World Designs. And as you can see, it is the coffee carrier. And I've got this one backwards. Okay. So, let's see. This is the die here. You get your base piece. Let me pull it out. In case you haven't seen this die already. So, this is your base piece. And you will cut it out two times okay this is your coffee this is your coffee cup um cover sleeve and um it is for these four ounce coffee cups with the lids if you do not have these i will have a link to where you can get them okay and i know a lot of ladies already have them in the stash because they've been around for a um minute here is the decorative band that goes around your cup. This is the circle for the lid. These are your layering pieces. Now these came attached like this. I did take it apart because you only need one of these because that's your bottom. Okay. But you'll need two of these because that, you know, for your front and your back. So that is it. And it's super easy and super fast <clears throat> to put together. Super, super fast. So this is the first one. And I kept it simple um, because I wanted you to see the actual layout of the design. Okay. So that is that really really cute and then this one i just reversed the paper and then this one i put the decorative band around the cup you can see i got my circle there and i just made a simple little bow right there i have these stuck together with uh, repositional dots oh, and they're strong <laughs> Now, I like this one because I guess because it's traditional coffee and I love, love, love my coffee. So, I just did a plain little band. Oh, this carrier is so adorable. Now, this one is a little wonky because I took it apart. Um, and I will... I wanted to be able to show you. I've got the same thing in every cup. And this is the cup. And then when you take the lid off, I have this little bead kit. It's like in pink and browns, um, like a coffee bead kit. And each one of them has a cup. Some is pink and some is brown. But this is a silicone bead. And it beads from the top to the bottom. So great for pokey tools or those... Um, pins so that will go there most of these will fit on those uh, pins there, there's a few small ones that probably will not but I have these cups ready to go and I'm gonna put this back on stick it and I may have to play with this to get it close a little bit more but that is my coffee cups. Really, really, really cute. Now, if you're someone that does craft fairs, this would be great. Because they're easy to put together. And you can put K-cups in there. Um, either hot chocolate K-cups or coffee K-cups. Um, Anna, actually, she, on her video, she put a whole packet of hot cocoa. And some little candies fit in there as well of course you have to fold the hot cocoa packet but it fits along with some candies so that is that project and i'm going to go ahead and share this one too as well because i really really love this one this is the container the glass container box <clears throat> now you have these three pieces here um the larger one is if you just want to layer um, your sides. The small one right here is if you want to make a window in one of your sides.
sides or all. And then this medium size is your frame around your window. Or it could be a top layering piece, ever how you want to do it. So I will show you what I did. So I will have everything in the description box, um, all the links, the website, and also my coupon code, which is Lisa G10, if you want to save some money, if you decide to place an order, okay? So this was my prototype. I don't have no acetate or anything in there. But that's what I mean by the frame. And you could either make a window on one side or you could do it on all four sides if that's what you want to do. So these are the ones that I made here. And I just stuck with these pretty little colors. So we'll start with this one first with the candy. This one, all I got to do is just pull this and um, take the candy out. So if this one does not get sent off, then I can eat that candy. <laughs> so that is that one. But you can see six Hershey Kisses fit in there. Perfect. Now this one is what the containers that it's made for. These are the containers that you get from the Dollar Tree. The small containers, I believe, come five in a pack. And you fit three in here. So right here, I've got some sequins, some shaker balls. And these are some more like ring um, sequins, all in silver. So that is cute there. And this one here is I've got some beads. These are 20 millimeter beads. And they fit in there really good. It's a little loose, but not much. Okay. And then I just put that little dangle. Made it really pretty. Now, those are 20 millimeter beads. Let me get these beads here. These two beads here. I believe this one right here is 22 millimeter this one might be 23 or 24 but they also fit in this box perfect 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 okay so you probably can't go no bigger than a you know 23 or 25 but these are 20 and they don't move around a whole whole lot so really really nice and you could always put shred um whatever you like to work with so here is the last one that i made i just tied a little bow around there like that and then this one i have the the larger container and one of the small ones so it'll hold three small ones or one large and one small and this is a sequins mix all in pink and there is some pink shaker balls and then I just put some little dangles there. So these are ready. All of this stuff is ready for when I get ready to send out some, um, you know, happy mail, some racks, whatever it is, swaps. Then all these are, are filled and ready. I can just grab a color that matches whatever I'm doing. <laughs> so super easy to put together. They're fast. And you can go ahead and pre-make some stuff and then have it ready. So that way you won't. A lot, of, a lot of times when we're doing swaps or just want to get something out, maybe for a certain occasion, we may feel a little rushed. But pick you some solid colors that are really pretty, put it together, and they're ready to go. I will have everything in the description box. Tell me what you think about um these dies and my projects and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching